This is going to be right over areas of San Luis Obispo, Santa Barbara, Kern County. And earlier we had some thunder. There it is, and lightning rolling through the Kern County area. Now, how much of that is going to move down into Southern California? The opportunity is here for our mountain communities. And unfortunately, the mountain ranges that do have burn scars, the bridge fire, the line fire, and of course, we could see mudslides and debris flows depending on how much rain falls all at once. With thunderstorms, it's really hard to tell, but we could get to see the skies open up and we could get as much as half an inch of rain in a short amount of time. So so again, with that being known, we are putting people over into the mountain areas on high alert today, especially from late morning into the afternoon and then early evening hours, especially into San Bernardino mountain communities too. So most of this is going to be moving along the mountain ranges. And unfortunately, that does bring up a threat for areas uh, closer towards the burn scars. I know right when we get uh, to see some rain, we're thinking that it's nice to get the rain, help the firefighting effort. But unfortunately, there's a new threat with that too. We're back to temperatures that are into 50s. Uh, over in a Palmdale, 58 degrees. This morning at 62. Anywhere in Southern California, we could see a little bit of rainfall move through the area. Now, it's not a lot of rain, and some places might not see any at all, but we're going to call it a 30% chance of some rainfall today for areas of Los Angeles. Now, we're going to get over into Van Nuys, about 60 degrees. And I will say that once we get some clearing out of this, we're going to get up to potentially 80 degrees for the Valley communities today. So there's still some sunshine and some warmth to enjoy today. Uh, but again, most of the morning showers will be for Los Angeles and then the afternoon evening showers for the mountains and desert communities. After that, high pressure stays around for the next several days, only getting stronger. So we're going to get to see some very warm temperatures out of the next few days. And I'll show you how hot we're going to get and where we top off coming up in that seven day. But today, get ready for about 77 degrees over in a lake. Elsinore. It's the same over in the Riverside. 74 in Irvine. Foothill communities, again, thunderstorms. Even uh, areas of the foothills could see some measurable rainfall, but primarily our mountains could see the best opportunity for some uh, thunderstorm activity. It's a 50% chance today. 72 over into Inglewood and temperatures into Thousand Oaks, 72. Now, Los Angeles and Illinois Orange County, we're back to 75 degrees. This low moving, uh, uh, slow moving low pressure center is going to stay with us for most of the day today. So, again, keeping us on alert, especially towards the mountains. 75, though, today for Los Angeles and Lenore Orange County. And the first day of fall, we're going to hit about 85 degrees, 90 on your Monday, and then we'll keep those 80s around. And it looks like for the long stretch, after Thursday, heading into Friday, Saturday, Sunday of next week, we're still going to keep those temperatures very similar. 79 degrees at the valleys in Lenore Empire today. We have a 30% chance of some light showers. And then we're back to 96. That's where we top out the warmest of the next seven on your Mondays. High pressure gets stronger and low pressure sneaks out to the east over to Arizona and then we'll keep those temperatures staying into those 90s a little bit cooler and then heading for the beach community 66 today 70s are back on your Sunday your Monday your Tuesday and your Wednesday and then we make your way out towards areas closer towards the mountains here we go a 50 percent chance today overnight lows are dipping too down into the 30s and then we rebound really well sinking air behind this area of low pressure high pressure right behind it and so warming trend continues forward tomorrow will be gusty as those pressure gradients tighten up which means that too low pressure pressure center, a low pressure center and a high pressure center, two of those together, a little too tightly together, will create some more gusty winds as our atmosphere tries to balance out. Deserts around 83, 90 degrees on your Saturday. And again, first day of fall in the northern hemisphere is on Sunday, 96 degrees, and we keep those 90s moving.